Hi, it's Ulfin, continuing our hand winch part modeling series. We already create part 1 until part 4 here, and you can watch the previous part modeling video by clicking the link in the description. So in this video, we're gonna create part number 5. And part number 6, which are both shafts. Let's start with part number 5. Create a part file using standard millimeters.ipt. Create a sketch on the XY plane. Make a circle with 28 in diameter. Finish sketch and execute the extrude tool. Give it 243 millimeters. Then press enter. Create a sketch on this face. Make a circle with 25 millimeters in diameter. Finish sketch and execute the extrude tool. Give it 226 millimeters. Then press enter. Now we're gonna make this thread feature. It's on this cylinder with 20 millimeters in length. And the thread is M16 with 17 millimeters in depth. Create a sketch on this face. Make a circle with 16 millimeters in diameter. Finish sketch and execute the extrude tool. And give it 20 millimeters in length. Then press enter. Click this thread tool here. Fill the depth with 17. Click on this button and select this face. Then click OK. Now we're gonna make this feature. Create a sketch on this face. Create a square by using this polygon tool. Give it 19 millimeters on the flat side. And give it a constraint just to make sure it won't rotate somewhere. Make a circle, whatever the diameter is, as long as it exceeds the shaft diameter. Finish sketch and execute the extrude tool. Select this profile. Flip the direction, and it will automatically change to cut. Give it 25 millimeters. Then click OK. Next, we're gonna make this feature, and here is the detail. Create a sketch on the YZ plane. Press F7 to slice the body. Click Project Cut Edge and make the projected object into construction line. We will need this line so make it a regular line. Make a triangle here. Turn this line into a center line. It's gonna be 7 millimeters from here. This angle is 45 degree, and the cone has 5 millimeters in diameter. Finish sketch. Then execute the revolve tool. Select cut option, then click OK. Next, move to this area. Create a sketch on this face. Make a circle with 25 millimeters in diameter. Finish sketch and execute the extrude tool. Give it 310 millimeters, then press enter. As you can see, this feature is exactly the same as this feature. So we will copy this feature and paste it here. Let's go back to our model. Select all these features from the model browser. Right click and select copy. We will paste it to this face. So, right click and select paste. Select this face. As you can see from the pop up window, we use two sketches for these features. So we have to select the face for each sketch. So once more select this face. Then click finish. Go ahead we're gonna make this keyway. Create a sketch on the YZ plane. Click Project Cut Edge, and press F7. Turn the projected line into construction line. Then make a keyway sketch use this slot tool. It's 45 millimeters from this point, and 90 millimeters in total length. This radius is 20. And the keyway has 4 millimeters in depth. 
Finish sketch and execute the extrude tool. Select symmetrical here and the cut option. Then give the keyway width 7 millimeters. Then click OK. As you can see, the these chamfers has no notation, so we're gonna use this dimension. Execute the chamfer tool using Ctrl Shift K. Select the edges. Change the dimension to 1 mm, then click OK. That's it, part number 5 is done, so we're gonna save it here. Moving up to part number 6. It is more simple than part number 5, so we're gonna do this fast. As always create a new part file using standard millimeters.ipt. Create a sketch on the XY plane. Make a circle with 28 in diameter. Finish sketch and execute the extrude tool. Give it 208.2, then press enter. Create a sketch on this face. Make a circle with 25 millimeters in diameter. Finish sketch and execute the extrude tool. Give it 127, then press enter. Create a sketch on this face. Make a circle with 25 millimeters in diameter. Finish sketch and execute the extrude tool. Give it 235, then press enter. If you realize, this cone feature is exactly the same as the cone on part number 5. Will we use the copy paste tool? Unfortunately, we can't do that. If you remember, we use the project cut edge to make the cone sketch, and the copy paste tool only can be used if your sketch doesn't have any projected object. So we're gonna make this cone feature all the way from the beginning. I'm gonna speed up the video because some of the features are the same as part number 5. Now, we're gonna make these chamfers, and it has 2 millimeters in length. Execute the chamfer tool and select the edges. Make sure it is 2 millimeters, then click OK. Part number 6 is also done, so we're gonna save it. Well, that's it, give it a try. If there is any question about this video, please let me know. See you on the next video.